Hey guys, coming at you from the Ani shop, newly built and we're moving in, but I got a new tool today from Rigid and I wanna tell you all about it. It is the industry's smallest and lightest and lowest cost copper press tool to date. They went over and above for this one. I'm gonna give you the ins and outs and I'm even gonna compare it to one of my copper press tools, so stay tuned. All right, so if you've been following Mechanical Up for a while, you know that I press nearly everything on my job sites. It's fast, it's efficient, it's a lot safer than pulling out a flame in a 200 year old house, right? My customers are back online faster and I'm inconveniencing them the least amount I can. It's not only efficient and fast, it saves on a ton of labor, so lower cost to do repairs, which lower cost on my end means more money in my pocket. I've invested in pressing over 20 years ago, and I'm gonna show you what I think is a really cool tool that I got my hands on almost a year ago. That's right, I had to keep my mouth shut. I knew about this last year, 2021, when I was visiting the factory doing a video project for how they made the pipe wrench. Look at that video, it's on our YouTube, I think it's very cool. Now, let's get into a little unboxing. This, I, you heard me say earlier that this is the least expensive tool on the market. It comes in at almost $800 cheaper than the next tool. This is a th $1,335 for this press tool. Inside the box, you've got a nice plastic case, by the way, luggage latch, it's, it's a little flexible, but it's gonna take an impact, so I like that. It's not blow molded, it's not this big, huge box or case. You got, the, you got the, uh, all the info, all the guts on how to run this tool, warranty information, service centers, you name it. Check that out, then do that with it because you're probably gonna lose it on a job site. Anyway, inside the box, you've got this nice organizer crate or kind of insert into the case, you've got a battery charger. Now this is a 12 volt tool, which means it's a very compact battery, but Ridge's 12 volt compact tools run forever on a charge. I'm so impressed by that. I use their, I use a older model of their tool and have for years and I'm really impressed with that. So you've got the battery charger and the cord, then you've got a half inch and three quarter inch copper press jaw. All right, so out of the box, this tool can do copper and stainless steel, half inch and three quarter, that's it. It's not gonna do one inch copper, it's not gonna do one inch PEX, it's not gonna do PEX with these jaws that are included. Later on, you're gonna be able to do Vega's Pure Flow system, half and three quarter only, and that's also gonna be available as a kit. But right now, if you go out and get this today, you're gonna spend 1,335 bucks, you're gonna save a whole bunch of money, and you're gonna be, be able to do half and three quarter. So the whole entire reason I go over that cost and emphasize that is this is your chance to get into pressing if you've been on the fence and don't wanna shell out over $2,000 for a kit, all right? That's a lot of money, I admit. You could spend over $3,000 on a kit the larger and the more capable you get. But Rigid put a, together a nice tool out of their German factory to bring us this. This thing is super small. Let's put a jaw on it real quick and I'll show you how it goes. There's a, a spring-loaded pin right here on the swiveling head. I'm just gonna push it in and turn it just a slight amount and it's gonna pop right out. Let's put the half inch jaw in there and then just slam it shut. It automatically locks, there you go, you're secure. You've got a one-handed operation. You know how I know this is easy to use? Because I'm right-handed, it's my left hand. There you go, very easy, very compact, 210 degree swivel head, and there's your trigger right up where your finger is already when you're holding the tool. Very easy to grab, very easy to hold on to. There's no on off button, you can literally just start pressing. All right, there you go, nice quick cycle. It's not the fastest on the market, but it does the job, of course. I've never been super worried about the speed of a press, I'll be honest with you. I think they've always been just fast enough. Now this is called the RP-115. This is, like I said, it's a German tool from their German factory. It's been on the market for a little while, but they reconfigured this a little bit, did some updates, and made it for the North American market. I think it's a winner. 
Now, let's compare it, or let's look at what it can do or what it will be able to do eventually. So half and three quarter inch copper press, right? These are Vega fittings, this is what I buy. They've, they've engineered these jaws to work with fittings like this. You can use it on any half inch and three quarter inch copper press for potable water. If it uses the, uh, if it's sold in North America and it's made for um, potable water systems, it's the Vega style or V press fitting, you're gonna be able to use this tool for it. Eventually, like I said, in the future, I'm not sure when, but they are gonna offer jaw sets for this tool, even as a kit or separately, so you can do half inch and three quarter inch Vega Pure Flow PEX systems, okay? It's a different jaw, not this jaw, this only does copper, all right? So you'll get a half inch and a three quarter inch jaw in the future if this is enticing to you. So if you wanna get into pressing, I can't say it enough, this is a good starting point. It isn't the end though, so let's get into that. I'm gonna pull up a tool that I've been using for a lot of years, got it right here. This is rigid. Okay, this is what's called their RP241. So the RP in the model name means rigid press. Okay, if you didn't know that, that's what it means. Well, oh, it's all full of <laughs> sawdust and everything. This is the RP241. So this is also a 12 volt tool. Okay, it's got that easy detached battery, same exact battery in both tools. Similar in size, right? I'll put a half inch copper jaw on here. This is not a spring-loaded pin. It's a little more manual, but it is also a different style jaw. Okay, similar in size overall. Uh, the 241 is larger. It does weigh more. I'd have to get a scale to tell you the difference, but I do know that this is lighter. So uh, I'll try to put the, some of the technical specs in the description below. Now this tool has a light on it, so does this. This tool has a a uh, trigger button right up by where your fingers are. So does this. However, this tool has some diagnostics built into it. So there's a power button right there. Okay, you see it light up. And when I hit the trigger, you're gonna see some lights happening down here. All right, when I get that green light, that's go, it means everything was good. If I had a partially, you know, a rundown battery or maybe the pin is pulled out just a little bit. You're gonna get some kind of flashing, things like that. That's not in this tool, okay? This tool is on off with the push of a button. It's gonna press pipe. It's gonna be lighter. It's gonna be more economical. You're paying for the features in this. That's why they cost more, okay? Also, with this tool, right in my box here, I've got half in three quarter. This is a three quarter. Pure flow. PEX jaw, that's this fitting right here in that jaw, okay? I can put my PEX in there, I can press it together, I don't have to use a manual tool. That's a neat innovation or a, a, another uh, way to kind of double up on what this tool can do for you. So there's some value in that. Now you pay more for this tool, you buy another jaw when you compare it to this, right? So you might want to consider, is this really the tool you want? Are you only ever gonna do half and three quarter inch copper and then maybe half and three quarter inch PEX press like the Vega system? Then yes, that's the tool you need. It'll do well for you, I'm sure of it. If you want to go larger though, and you wanna do things like one inch copper, inch and a quarter copper, you can even do iron pipe press with this tool like the mega press system for gas or water up to one inch in this, in, off this tool alone. So this is a more capable tool. Now they measure the force output by these in kilonewtons. Um, the, the two tools aren't equal in the amount of force that they can put out. That's why this can do more pipe sizes in larger diameters. All right, that's really the ins and outs. I use this tool for comparison because it's in line. It's very similar and easy to, to uh, visualize the similarities in its design between the two, right? I'm gonna close this up here. This is a much bulkier case, but it holds a little bit more than this one does. Now, there's your battery, same as what was in the 241. And here are your two jaws. This is half inch, here's three quarter. 
battery charger and case. That is the RP 115 by Rigid. This is the most compact, the lightest, and the lowest cost press tool on the power in the North American market. I think you want to check it out. Check out the tech specs in the description below. If you like this video, give us a follow, please. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you back for the next video. And thanks for watching.